Hey fellow marshmallows, my name is, real name is Veronica, my last name does begin with an M, I'm not going to disclose that, and I am a Veronica Mars fanatic. I love the show since day one when it premiered back in September of 2004, I was 18, so that was a good 10 years ago when it was on UPN. Sounds, hopefully I don't come off sounding narcissistic, but I guess it drew me in because Veronica is my name and my last name does begin with an M as well. It's kind of weird. Um, but besides that, I, as soon as I started watching it, instantly I got hooked. I like anything crime dramas. I love Kristen Bell, the way she portrayed Veronica. As a strong, independent woman that young women should look up to, you know, take no crap from nobody and hold your own, which is pretty damn awesome and badass. It just became an addiction. I continuously watched it and watched it, and I was so upset when I canceled it. Third season, I was so upset. I remember they interrupted for some pussy cat doll thing. No offense, I do like the pussy cat dolls, but. I was pretty pissed. I'm like, what the hell's up with that? And they brought it back, and they finally canceled it when I was 21, so it was only on for like three years, so back in 07. And it was worth the wait for this movie. I'm just elated that I got to even, you know, my money went to something that came out totally awesome. I'm glad I invested my $35, you know. I wanted it to happen. I mean, props to Rob Thomas, you know, for making our, our fans, our dreams come true as fans, and Kristen Bell, and Jason Doring, and everyone, Percy Dice, Marge, everybody who was in Chris Lowell, I even tried to support fellow Veronica Mars actors, I watched New Girl, always refer to Schmidt as Deputy Leo, I always think he's stuck, I was like, Deputy Leo, like, he's so hot. I know I'm cheesy. I watch Enlisted Chris Lowell. I still call him Piz, unfortunately. <laughs> like, it's Piz, man. You can't separate the two. I did try to watch the part, the Bean Apartment 23. I try to support each castmate that went on to do different endeavors. Um, Kristen Ritter. But I've really been into like New Girl and Enlisted because it. They're hilarious shows if you can see and support Veronica Mars castmates. And there's also the exception with Mean Girls having ties to Veronica Mars. I'm really weird because Lizzie Kaplan had a guest role on New Girl and Schmidt, who obviously played Deputy Leo. I can't think of his name right now, the actor's name. Max Greenfield, there you go. Who was on Veronica Mars. Lizzie Kaplan was Janice Ian on Mean Girls, and then you have the first season who played Lily, who played Karen, Amanda Seyfried, weird ties, and then Aaron Samuels pops up, the actor who played Aaron Samuels in one of the episodes of Ron, of course. I also love Mean Girls as well, so it's like, they just have a coming out of Inception. Well, obviously it's the acting world, but I don't know, it like gets me getting like, look at, see there's ties, there's big ties to that. My sister thinks I'm a weirdo, but whatever. Um, <clears throat> like I said, I've watched all three seasons leading up to this. I did want to go to opening day. Something came up. I think I had to work, so I wasn't able to, unfortunately. But I did come this week. I'm still supported as fellow marshmallow. Um, if anybody hasn't gone and seen the movie yet, definitely go if you're a true Veronica Mars fan. It is worth the money. Worth it all. You will not be disappointed. Hopefully there will be sequels to this. I have people even been commenting on Facebook, which I agree with. Bring it back, dude. Put it on Netflix. Trust me, I'd be like uh, the big dorks that I am. Oh my god, it's an honor to watch it, you know. It's like a fixation. <laughs> but not a fixation, supplication wise, but a fixation for people. <laughs> it's addicting. But definitely go and see it. And... Thank you again to Rob Thomas, to Kristen Bell, Percy Deggs, uh, the whole cast, Rico Cannelloni, Jason Doring, Max Greenfield, just everybody, even those major names of act, a couple famous faces, and I'm not going to mention it if you haven't seen it, you need to go and see it. 
but it is definitely worth it. So, <clears throat> A plus. Thank you, Rob Thomas. Thank you for the sweet shirt. Kind of freaked out though. I were in the mail like Warner Brothers. I'm like, what the hell? Is, what what is this? Thing? I'm like, oh. Okay, I finally clicked. I think it was right before I went down to Oklahoma to see my sister graduate from the military. Before I went to Texas, I have an uncle that lives in the Austin area, so I was like giddy. I'm like, oh my god, Rob Thomas is hometown. He lives in Pflugerville, but it was pretty cool. I'm like, oh yeah, this is awesome. And then Rob Thomas is stopping ground. Sweet. But, <clears throat> pardon me. And that's why I'm a big VM fan. I mean, you gotta support. Go out there and support this film, everyone. Thank you.